hello everyone in today's video i will show you how to set up google analytics for on shopify store using google tag manager so first of all we need to go to analytics.google.com so if you don't have the google analytics account you have to create the account first so i already have the google analytics account so we need to copy the ga4 measurement id so we need to go to admin settings then we need to click on data streams then we need to click on here we have to copy the measurement id from here now we need to go to the tag manager so we have to create a new tag for GA4 configuration we have to click on new now we need to click on tag configuration now we need to choose GA4 configuration we have to place the GA4 measurement ID here so now we need to create a trigger we will trigger the configuration tag all pages so we have to rename the tag like GA4 configuration now we need to save the tag so the GA4 is connected to our Shopify website now we need to click on preview now we need to put our website URL here then we need to click on connect button so we can see our Google Analytics 4 is connected and the tag is fired now we need to set up the view item event for the GA4 so we need to view a product to check the data layer so now we need to go to the tag assistant to check the data layer we need to click on view item then we need to click on data layer here we need to check the data layer here we can see our data layer is working so now we need to go to the tag manager now we need to go to the trigger option here we have to create a new trigger so we need to click on new then we need to click on trigger configuration then we have to choose custom event so now we need to go to tag assistant again then we have to copy the event name from here so I'm gonna copy and paste it on the tag manager trigger section so we can rename it view item event we need to save it now we need to go to variable section we have to create new variable for GA4 product items so we need to check the data layer again then we can see our items is here so we need to copy the e-commerce then we need to click on variable configuration we need to choose the data layer variable here from here we have to put the e-commerce then we need to go back the data layer again then we need to copy the items here so it will be e-commerce dot items so we can put a name for it like dlv ga4 items so now we can save it now we have to create a new variable for currency 
so i'm going to create a new variable again data layer variable now we need to go back the data layer again then we need to check the currency we have to copy it then we need to paste it the variable section then we need to rename it as dlv ga4 currency now we need to save it so now we need to create a new tag for ga4 view item event we have to go to tag section again then we need to click on new we need to click on tag configuration then ga4 event so we need to choose that configure tag as ga4 configuration we need to put the event name view item now we need to put the event parameter we need to click on add row then here we need to put items and then we need to put currency so here we need to choose the variable we created we need to choose the variable currency now we need to set the trigger we have to click here then we need to choose the view item now we need to add a name here like ga4 view ga4 view item then we need to click on save so now we need to check our view item event is working or not we need to click on preview we need to click on continue then we need to go to the website and visit a product so now we need to go back tag assistant again then we can see our GA4 view item tag is fired. So we need to click on the view item event from here. Then we need to click on GA4 view item to check. We can see it's working perfectly. So this is how we can set up the GA4 view item event. Thank you for watching the video. If you are benefited from the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.